What's going on guys? My name is Ryan Snod. It rhymes with odd and welcome to another video. This week we're going to talk about LinkedIn marketing and how you can use LinkedIn to grow your business. We're talking about LinkedIn so I thought it's only necessary. I gotta put on the old suit jacket. <sighs> if you didn't know already, LinkedIn is a professional network for professionals and professionals wear suits and all of everyone on LinkedIn looks like this. But today we're going to talk about the real LinkedIn, how you can use it for your business even if you're not a professional. Straight fire. Yeah. Hustle all day, hustle and flow. <laughs> LinkedIn has an amazing opportunity for you as a creative. And today we're gonna to talk about how you can make your own profile and make it look professional, but also how to utilize the power of the organic reach on the platform as of the making of this video and exponentially reach more people just by putting out your content on LinkedIn. I'm gonna ditch the jacket now, sorry. The platform started out originally as a job seeking site and a place that you could create a profile and basically have an online resume. And over the last couple of years, it has transitioned away from just being an online resume to being a content generation site. The big opportunity right now on LinkedIn for people like you and I is that there are a lot of people that have an account that check it daily, that are on it while they're at work but they don't actually engage and they don't actually create content. So think of a mall and how busy it is during the holidays. There's hundreds of people just walking around aimlessly, but there's no stores to look at anything worth buying. So with you having basically a store or putting out content in this empty sea of nothingness, you're basically getting exponentially more reach and there's gonna be way more people coming into your store or engaging with your content than there would be if the entire mall was overflowed with people there's just sellers everywhere and there's too much stuff to look at and you get lost in the sea of content. So right now there is just an amazing, amazing opportunity for professionals that are on the platform that create organic content directly on LinkedIn to really have an exponentially larger impact and reach more people. Success on LinkedIn really comes down to a couple things. First, it's having a really solidly filled out profile. So this includes a really professional headshot, your name, having a great cover image with a call to action on it or some kind of explanation of who you are and what you do. You'd be amazed at how many people have a profile that are on the account all the time that don't even have a profile picture. So really pick something that is a well-lit photo of just you. Usually you're smiling or doing something that you enjoy and you're not just doing the suited up picture smiling like this. You wanna try and do something a little bit different that shows your personality or you in your element doing what you do. Now, as we continue down the profile here, you have a bio section. You can do this either in third person, so speak as if you are talking about yourself from a different person's perspective. If you're browsing people's profiles and everything's in third person, they're not conceited and full of themselves. That's just typically how a resume is built. So really you wanna think about your profile as a resume and the whole point of having an account and accessing all these people on the LinkedIn platform is to get them to your profile to then showcase who you are, what you do, who you do it for. So once you fill out your headshot, your name, your cover image, your bio, then you wanna move into your experience and fill those things out as well. So once your profile is all set up, now you wanna start reaching out to people to connect. What I always do is go through my own actual network of people that I know and connect with all of those people that you possibly can. So then once you have 100 connections, then you can start trying to actively market yourself on the platform. You can do it with less than 100, but usually uh, LinkedIn's not gonna favor you if you have like no friends or connections on the platform. Uh, so just get about 100 or so if you can and go from there. Now I would start shifting into a content strategy to try and grow your profile. Again, the goal of having your LinkedIn profile is to drive as much traffic and new eyeballs to your profile as possible with some kind of call to action in your bio or some reason for them to reach out to you. Now, depending on what you do as a professional, this can vary quite a bit, but if you're really good at the spoken word or you are good with video, um, obviously we wanna have videos as much as possible because videos are great. LinkedIn favors native content just like every other social media platform. So if you are posting a video, don't post a link to a YouTube video, but post the actual video and embed it directly on the newsfeed. The only limitation to LinkedIn videos is that they have to be 10 minutes or less, but if you have a longer form video, you're gonna have to drive them off of LinkedIn to YouTube or Vimeo or wherever your video is linked up at. Just know that having links to external sites does diminish the amount of people that actually will watch and convert to your site. And again, we wanna drive people to your profile and if you send them from the newsfeed to YouTube to watch your video, and then back to LinkedIn to go to your profile, you're asking people to just do too much and it's really confusing for them what the call to action is. A lot of people are limited on LinkedIn and they're fearful because they wanna be so professional that they don't actually put anything out and they're not vulnerable, they're not really being seen 
And as we see with marketing, the more that you stand out, the more that you can actually capitalize on that attention. So really the biggest advice that I have for most professionals on LinkedIn is to do talking head videos similar to this one, talking about the things that you're knowledgeable about in your industry. So a good upload strategy is post the video directly on your newsfeed and then put two to three hashtags in your caption that you'd want to rank for in the search algorithm on LinkedIn. More than three hashtags will actually hurt your post. I've seen this in a lot of analytics that I've looked into. So you wanna like your own post, which I know sounds narcissistic, but it actually does help because psychologically people don't wanna like be the first person to like a post. Help people that are afraid to be the first like on a post and like it first, and then leave a comment in the comment section um, asking a question about something that you talked about in your video. So once your post goes live, you've already got one like and a comment, which is really helpful to try and get more organic reach. Now outside of the video workflow, some things that I like to do to get more engagement is really engage with the community. I have over a thousand connections on LinkedIn and a lot of them I know personally. So I like to comment on anything that my friends or work connections or industry leaders are posting about. Getting involved in those conversations is super key and you'd be amazed at some of the organic reach that you can have just by commenting and engaging with that community. Another tactic that I've been doing here recently is writing recommendations for all the clients that I work with. So for me, it's somebody that's trusted me with their business or their brand uh, in this form of a video. So I wanna reciprocate that appreciation and give them some kind of recommendation on the platform. Not a lot of people do it, and you'd be surprised if you write a really heartfelt message if somebody's looking at their profile and they see how great it was to work with that person. They wanna have that same experience, so they come and look at your profile and say, hey, if they really had a great job when they shot and promoted all these videos using them as a client, I wonder what that experience would be like if I worked with this person. So another tactic would be to connect with potential clients that you wanna work with. The more people that you connect with in the short period of time, so two to three days after you make that connection with that person, a lot of your content is gonna be organically served to them because you just connected with them and LinkedIn wants you to get to know that person as a connection of yours. Again, it's just all about touch points, getting the volume of engagement up and up and up and establishing yourself as you being the thought leader in your industry. My last advice and probably the most important with LinkedIn is to be different. There are so many people that are on LinkedIn that don't post and just being a zombie on the platform wasting time. So be the 1% of people that are on LinkedIn that are creating content, that are sharing things and they're being different. Don't feel like you have to be that typical corporate person if you're not in real life. Be yourself, be approachable, create value on the platform, and I promise you it will be reciprocated to you tenfold in terms of recommendation, in terms of people that are reaching out to you that want your service or your product because they truly understand you and what your value is on the platform. It's a great social media platform to you be involved in, and I highly recommend it to you if you do any business in the professional space. Make sure to connect with me on LinkedIn. It is Ryan Snod, S-N-A-A-D-T. It rhymes with odd. And that's about it for me, guys. Like I just said, my name is Ryan Snod. It rhymes with odd. And we'll see you in next week's video. Peace!